Oh, what about this one? Every single door has enemies. Oh, that's probably the final destination. It's like a kitchen or something. <laughs> Did a really fast walk. It shall be done. I don't trust this. Elf root. Someone's gonna pop out of something. Very well. Wait. We're going back to the basement? Well, where did we get stuck earlier? Here or like here? I think. So maybe we have to go back down to the basement and then wrap back up somehow. Oh! You know what? We have to recast Song of Valor again, right? Because she went down earlier. Ah! Oh! That's a Song of Valor. Alright, yes! Regenerating! Regenerating mana and stamina. That's important. It's too quiet here. Wait, there's a cage! Look, there's a cage! That means hounds. Floor spar. Uncut stone. The color of honey. We're looting the castle, is that okay? Large wooden round shield three? Oh, three is crap. Oh, <gasps> love letter. <clears throat> My darling Reginald, I burn for you, and because of you. Please use the enclosed tincture if our love is to endure, Sari. You are filthy, a beast. Such depravity I have never been forced to suffer. How words are so laden when they leave your lips is beyond decent imagining. Madame, I love you. Oh, it added. This was just the first one. It added onto the same note, I think. Oh, Reginald? Wait, these are just random people then. They're not even writing to each other, are they? Unless if Sir Algold's first name is Reginald. <laughs> I have no clue. I got- I need- I need longer ones, okay? This is too short. And it's not raunchy enough. Oh, this was- Courtyard, okay. What about the main hall? Wait, this is gonna be- There's gonna be corpses here. Because- Yeah, they're right there. We were there before. And now we can open the gate. Landmark tree. Yeah, before I was thinking that I would switch party characters, maybe between every town, but since we've been in Redcliffe for so long, I wonder if I should be switching in the middle of quests. Well, maybe not in the middle of this, of this castle quest, but in between smaller things. Alright, let's go. Oh, you know what? Guys, hold, hold. <laughs> Haven't done this for a while. No, 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 no. Make us brave! Do not Best fight as poorly as you smell. Here. I must maintain. Oh, but they can do magic too. Gotta be careful about that. And you shall see. I will. Let's make. Oh, hold on! I don't have time to play. I thought it was just those guys. That's a different story. There's more people there. Okay, enough playing around. It's quick. Whoa. Where are you going? Dude, why are you here? Wellens, why are you here? Why did you walk all the way here? Oh guys, you gotta you gotta come. What the hell is that guy? Right there. Oh he dragged me over! He dragged me over! Are you guys fighting stuff? If you are, uh just keep doing your thing then I'll I have a cracked skull, but I'll handle. Well oh, this is not good. This is really not good. <laughs> hey, you guys have got to come over here too. Alistair, you got to stop freaking firing that thing. You got to come right in. Uh, That yellow one! Revenant! Hold up, you got to... Sometimes. I'm sorry, I just stopped Morgan's healing. Shoot, that was dumb. 
Oh dear. Oh dear. Spent a lot of time messing around. Oh god, I thought this was gonna be a small thing, but it's a big thing. It's a big thing. Can we revive people in the middle of battle? I really need this feature right about now. Morgan, you need to do more because you, you can do things that other people can't. We need to stun the big guy, maybe. Oh, but he's resisting. He's resisting. Heal Halastor then. Hey, these are corpses. In traditional sorts of, like, uh, mechanics, healing them should hurt them, right? Because they're zombies. But I don't know if that's how that works. Oh, I want to get the archers first, but this is kind of hard. Oh, Morgan's getting... On my way. ripped up. Okay. It is your time to die. Oh, I should have been in the range of that guy too, but Morgan is not looking great even for herself. Hmm. I suppose violence. Alistair, I think you need to take a potion, like a big one. Oh, this is getting more- This is complicated because Wellens- If Wellens was here, this would be probably a little bit easier. Rapid shot? I, I don't even know what to do here. Rapid shot is not always good because of- Morgan, you need to heal up too. Like a big one. I need to put the potions on your thing. Aura of weakness. Someone cast the weakness thing on me. Okay, everybody, go up. Dude, Morgan, don't just stand right here. I am ready. So be it. No, it's immune. It's immune. You know what? You are Alistair. Oh, fantastic. Oh, Alistair, you are amazing. All right, we can do this now because he's going to keep attacking Morgan. I'm going to kite him. Oh. Okay, that's not a thing. Kiting is not a thing. Newsflash. I need to heal up a little bit, probably. What is that? Pole! Oh, look at Alistair gliding down the stairs! Good work! Can we stun this guy at all? Here. Hey, when somebody is downed when the battle finishes, I hope they still get experience. It would be pretty crappy if they don't. Okay, heal Alistair. And then I want you to take a health potion yourself. I don't have many, but... Get me out of this. <laughs> Run while you can. Does horror work? Vulnerability hex? Vulnerability hex? Penalty to elemental stuff, but um... Cold! Hey, penalty to cold, but we have cold weapons, so that would be a good one, right? Would be a good one to cast in the beginning. <gasps> dude! Dude! Alistair. Is this active? I actually can't tell. He's gonna... Uh oh, uh oh, oh my goodness, our potions. We gotta make more later on, but not now, obviously. I'm scared to go back into... Is that all As my like. blood? Yeah, maybe I can kite him a little bit. At least until he does pull. Back. Come and get it. Oh, what the hell? You weren't you weren't even uh oh. No! No! Not Morgan. Pummel, pummel. Right. Watch out! Yeah! He can't do this. Yeah, try to kite him into other people. Really injured here. Just so you know. Come on, Al Alistair! Alistair! A king! You're a king! Wellens, you missed out, like, the entire fight, but that's okay. That's alright. You got a crack skull and a wrench limp. You know what? Okay, you gotta... <laughs> you I think you have to... Depends on what we see next. Um, let's walk around first. 
Dude, I was messing around way too much there. I thought it was just the people by the courtyard. But there were a whole bunch of other people. And even within the own courtyard, there's a guy with pulling abilities. Very well. But I feel like in the beginning, if I saw that guy, I probably wouldn't have been able to defeat him with three party members. So hey, I think there's there's some improvement happening here. Even if slow. And we probably... Yeah, that's the whole reason why I started buying flasks. We need flasks. <laughs> a little potion noise. Oh! My god. Probably could have pulled this up. Oh my god, I'm stupid. I'm stupid, but hey, you know what? It's good practice. Ugh. Could I have done this in the middle of the fight? You have opened the gates. That is good. My men and I are <laughs> eager to see our Arl again. Shall we enter the main hall together? It must be held if we are to regain control of the castle. I want to look around elsewhere first. As you wish. We will hold the gate and watch for anyone attempting to leave. Let me know if the situation changes. Um, the main hall was locked. So I'm kind of like... Thinking about that. Could I have opened that in the middle of the battle? That did give like a really leisurely cutscene, so I don't know. And they weren't yelling! I didn't know they were there! <laughs> I didn't know they were immediately there. No. <laughs> Came here for no reason. The main hall that we couldn't get to earlier, it was because we didn't have the key. Oh, but I didn't try pressing on it with Liliana, though. Maybe I should have. Because she can lockpick it or something, right? Uh, I can go back and give it a try. And you, you, uh, we can go in together. Yeah, sure, but hold on. One second. Oh, hold on, hold on. You know what? This is the door. I shall do it. I forgot about the doors over here. Didn't I? Oh! <laughs> well, I mean, well. good experience or something. I still can't open it. I have no key. I didn't see if Liliana could open it yet, though. So I'll try that later on. Oh, you guys, after the Revenant, it's nothing. Could get you with my pinky finger. Did we get a codex for the Revenant earlier? Might be good to read now, too. Revenant. An entire unit of men, all slain by one creature. I didn't believe it at first, your perfection, but it appears that this is so. We have a survivor, and while at first I thought his ranting's pure exaggeration, it appears to be no simple skeleton. The descriptions of the creature's abilities were eerily similar to those our brothers at Marna's Pell encountered almost a century ago. Men pulled through the air to skewer themselves on the creature's blade, and attacked so quick that it was able to assault multiple opponents at once. No, your perfection. What we have here is indeed a revenant, and nothing less. A revenant is a corpse possessed by a demon of pride or of desire making it amongst the most powerful possessed opponents that one can face. Hey, are there multiple demons here? We've seen enraged corpses, shambling corpses, but these are all like different demon types. Many possess spells, but most are armed and armored and prefer the use of their martial talents. They are weak against physical attacks, but regenerate quickly. <sighs> this information would have been useful beforehand. And commonly use telekinesis to pull opponents into melee range, should they try to flee. Revenants also have the ability to strike multiple opponents surrounding them. <gasps> Stay at range if possible and strike quickly. That is the only way to take down such a creature. Wow, it's kind of a mini miracle that we've been okay. I mean, we weren't okay. Wellens died for like 20 years. Oh, Valena! Oh, jeez, good thing I came back here. Oh my god. Hey! Calm down, I'm not going to hurt you. I... I'm sorry. I'm so frightened. These monsters are everywhere. My... My name's Valena. The Arlesa's maid. Is she... All right. What happened to everyone? Valena? The smith's daughter? You know my father. 
I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out of here? Wait, tell me what happened here first. You're the only alive person. Oh, I didn't even think about it, but yeah, because you locked yourself in here. You're the only human person. Oh, I, did, I missed a chance to ask her stuff. But she probably just heard stuff happening outside and hid. The castle gates are open. Go out there. But, but the monsters... I've killed most of them. It's safe. I've killed all of them, right? I'll find my way. I can run fast and I know the castle. Thank you. Hey, it's kind of cool that we did the castle gate part first because it actually reflected that. That we could tell her to leave through the gate as opposed to the tunnel. But yeah, I don't think we have the... I shall do it. And Liliana doesn't say that she can do it either. I'll do it. You're lying! You're lying. How do I... What if I steal... On my way. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess that's that. Oh, we going through the courtyard. That's where the, the big doors lead. Oh, okay, that makes sense. All right. Okay, so all we got to do is go back out. Gotcha. But it's a good thing I came back here anyway. Nearly missed Valina. Ooh. Sir Perth, did you see Valina? I trust you won't abandon us anytime soon. The people will look to your leadership in the coming days. Something like that. What is the situation? Shall we go to the hall with you, or shall we wait here? We could have chosen to go alone earlier. I didn't pick it, but I'm guessing he wouldn't have let me go alone. Yes, let's go to the hall together. Excellent. Let us go now then, and see what awaits us there. Whoa. What am I looking at? What am I being made to look at? So these are our visitors. The ones you told me about, Mother. Y yes Connor. And this is the one who defeated my soldiers. The ones I sent to reclaim my village. Yes. And now it's staring at me. What is it, Mother? I can't see it well enough. This... This is a woman, Connor. Just as I am. You lie! This woman is nothing at all like you. Why, just look at her. Half your age, and pretty too. I'm surprised you don't order her executed in a fit of jealousy. Connor, I beg you. Don't hurt anyone, Ma Mother? What? What's happening? Where am I? Oh, thank the Maker. Connor? Connor, can you hear me? Get away from me, fool woman! You are beginning to bore me! Maker's breath. What has happened here? Grey Warden, please don't hurt my son. He is not responsible for what he does. Oh dear. So when a person is possessed by a demon, how do we... Is it even possible to unpossess them? Some kind of a jealousy, like envy demon? He mentioned jealousy earlier. <sighs> that is difficult to talk about, I don't blame her. What did you do with Van Tegan? Here I am. Here am I. <laughs> oh my god. I like him better this way. <laughs> no more yelling. Now he amuses me. <laughs> Connor didn't mean to do this. It was that mage, the one who poisoned Demon. He started all this. He summoned this demon. Connor was just trying to help his father. And made a deal with the demon to do so? Foolish child. It was a fair deal, father is alive, just as I wanted. Now it's my turn to sit on the throne and send out armies to conquer the world. Nobody tells me what to do anymore. Nobody tells him what to do. Nobody! Ha 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 ha! Quiet, uncle! I warned you what would happen if you kept shouting. 
Didn't I? Yes, I did. But let's keep things civil. This woman will have the audience she seeks. Tell us, woman, what have you come here for? When we first walked inside the main hall, I thought that Ban Tegan was doing stuff to appease a demon out of his own free will. But there's some sort of like a by possession going on. I don't know what's happening, but he's he's not right. And the way the demon speaks right now, it's not like it's not like a demonic possession where the demon is taking over a body and he's like, "Woohoo, I'm free now. I'm I'm not the son. I'm not Connor. I am a demon." No, he keeps saying stuff like my father, my mother, my uncle. So the demon possessed Connor, but okay, I'm guessing this is a, a demon of desire, was it? Yeah, desire, wanting to heal. Connor wanted to dabble in magic to heal his ill father. Well, I mean, he was getting lessons to begin with. And then somehow he opened the veil and this desire attracted demons because we know that demons like emotions and he had a very strong desire for this to happen. But the demon now in his body is like amplifying the desires. It's not like doing its own thing, if that makes any sense. But it's still, what about the enraged corpses and the shambling corpses? Those are from rage demons and something else, right? The sloth demons. Maybe because the veil is open, so multiple things have come out. That's not good. I don't even know how to talk. <laughs> I'll just leave now, bye. <laughs> I... Uh, no one needs help here. He's gonna... he's not gonna say anyone needs help. I... need to see Arl Eamon. So you're a concerned well-wisher. Why didn't you say that in the first place? All the sneaking around and killing is so unnecessary. Agreed! But father is so very ill. We really shouldn't disturb him. Isn't that right, mother? I... I... don't think... Of course you don't! <laughs> Ever since you sent the knights away, you do nothing but deprive me of my fun. Frankly, it's getting dull. I crave excitement and action. This woman spoiled my sport by saving that stupid village. And now, she'll repay me. We can't kill this kid. Yeah! Good lord. We can't kill the kid. He ran away. But we can't kill- What? We can't kill Ben Deegan? That's not happening! No! What? We can't do this. Sir Perth, what are we gonna do? Kill everyone else first. Approaching. Forget about other people. Jesus! Ben Deegan! Morgan, could you please activate a Winter's grasp on him or something so he stops attacking us because this guy's being annoying. Just freeze him. Freeze him. Don't attack him. I don't need- Oh my lord. Wait, these are like human guards, aren't they? They're not even- They're not even like possessed corpses. Or they're not corpses yet. Wait, don't attack Ban- Do we really have to kill Ban Tegan? That's so awful. Is it a problem that I show my back to Banti or uh, to Bantigan as Alistair? He's not a rogue, so I'm guessing that doesn't really, really matter. But I don't know. Oh my lord, dude! Do we really have to? Let's get this dude. Gonna put you back in the air. Just freeze him or something. I'm sorry, I made you guys all walk back. No, 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 don't kill him, don't kill him. Do we have to? I'm going all over the place. Oh, even if I don't, the knight's gonna kill him. Very well. Of course. I'm trying my best to not, but Sir Perth is like whatever. Take the battle to them. Uh, I had no part in this. I literally had no part in this. Tegan. Oh, Tegan. Oh, okay. I am better now, I think. My mind is my own again. 
Blessed Andraste. I would never have forgiven myself had you died. Not after I brought you here. What a fool I am. Please. Connor's not responsible for this. There must be some way we can save him. I'm not about to kill a child. Clearly the child is an abomination. There is only one way to stop it. He's not always the demon you saw. Connor is still inside him and sometimes he breaks through. Please, I just want to protect him. Isn't that what started this? You hired the mage to teach Connor in secret to protect him. If they discovered Connor had magic then They'd take him away. I thought if he learned just enough to hide it, then... He's not young enough for that kind of responsibility. Where's Connor now? Why did he run? I think he ran upstairs. To the family quarters. Violence scares him. I know that sounds strange. He may have run up to his room, or... Or he might be waiting in ambush? I don't know. The fighting may have scared Connor into... coming out again, and, and so he ran. So you're saying he may be vulnerable? I... Oh, perhaps. Is there... Is there no other way? Can we go back and talk to the Blood Mage? Morgan, I feel like you would know some spells, no? Where's Arl Eamon? Upstairs in his room. I think the demon has been keeping him alive. So Why? if we destroy oh! the demon, then... Then my husband may perish. Yes. <gasps> so you had no idea the man you hired was an assassin? None. I trusted Loghain. Why wouldn't I? How could I have suspected the mage he sent would be a murderer? And Eamon knew nothing of your plans? Do you not realize what you've done, Isold? Eamon would only demand we do the right thing. I was not going to lose my son. Not to... to magic. Is the Chantry and people who follow Andraste that anti-magic? Really? Is magic not a form by which the Maker shows himself in the physical world? Is it not? Why are you so against magic? So Arl Eamon didn't know about Connor's abilities? He left Connor's raising to me. When I discovered it, I was frightened. I didn't know what to do. And so you brought doom upon us all and death to your own son. No. No, please. There must be another way. There must be something we can do. What are our options? I wouldn't normally suggest slaying a child, but he's an abomination. I'm not sure there's any choice. We can't kill a young boy, demon or no demon. Please don't say we're considering that. Connor is my nephew, but he is also possessed by a demon. Death would be merciful. No? What? What about the mage? He could know something of this demon. If he still lives, we could speak to him. We need to know more about how he even got possessed in the first place. What did he actually do? We don't have options. He's down in the dungeon, still alive. Then we should bring him here immediately. I... I do not know how much we can trust him. But we must find out what he knows. Tigan, could you find him? I... will try. Though if he resists, I will not hesitate to kill him. I'll return shortly. You're lucky to be alive, Jowan. After all you've done. I didn't summon any demon, Lady Isol. But I did poison the Arl, and that started all this. I'm willing to help if you'll let me. The demon in Connor needs to be destroyed. Killing Connor is the easiest way to do that, certainly. But there is another way. A mage could confront the demon in the Fade without hurting Connor himself. Okay, go. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? 
not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt and controls him from there. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. You can enter the Fade then? And kill the demon w without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires lyrium and, and several mages, but I have blood magic. So you would- we can bring Morgan over there then? I'm not a mage, I can't do it. Okay, mm. <sighs> either someone's gonna die today if we don't do this. Either Connor's dying or Arl Eamon's gonna die. If we use Forbidden Magic, then both of them could live. Or maybe it'll all horribly backfire on us. What difference does that make? Lyrium provides the power for the ritual, but I can take that power from someone's life energy. This ritual requires a lot of it, however. What? All of it, in fact. So, someone must die? Someone must be sacrificed? Yes, and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. Okay, okay, uh... Newsflash, someone is gonna die. Is there no other method? The power has to come from somewhere, and that means either lyrium or blood. Okay, then lyrium. Then it be my blood. I will be the sacrifice. What? Isolde, are you mad? Eamon would never allow this. Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside him, or I give my life so my son can live. To me, the answer is clear. Blood magic. How can more evil be of any help here? Two wrongs don't make a right. It does seem like a sensible choice with a willing participant. Connor is blameless in this. He should not have to pay the price. It, uh, it's up to you, my friend. You know more about such things than I do, and it's your companion going into the Fade. The decision is yours. Oh my god. There must be another way to enter the Fade. You can find Lyrium and more mages at the Circle of Magi, if they would even do it. Yeah, Lyrium. He said Lyrium or blood. Why don't we do Lyrium? The Circle Tower is not far from here. That is an excellent point. One of the treaties is also for the Circle of Magi, after all. The tower is about a day's journey across the lake. You could attempt to get the mages' help. But what will happen here? Connor will not remain passive forever. Oh, one day. One day. Can you guys hold him for one day? <sighs> but he wasn't violent though, he was- he's very volatile, we can't tell how he's gonna act. They want me to sacrifice somebody. This method I'm trying to do right now, is trying to get around all the sacrifices. Will they be so nice to let me have it? I'll take that chance. Very well. I will keep Jowan here as a precaution. He says he wants to help, so he will keep an eye on Connor with us. Go to the tower quickly then. The longer you are away, the greater the chances of disaster. Okay. All right. There has been no sight of the mages yet. If you intend to continue with this plan, I suggest you get on with it. We received no word from the Circle of Magi yet. Connor remains quiet for the moment. I'll keep trying. As you wish. I hope that something will come of it, and soon. Oh my god, I, I... I'm gonna have to live with not knowing whether this is gonna work out or not. I've told you the only thing I can think of that might help. Until you make a decision, I think I should remain here. I can keep an eye on the boy, so to speak. If the demon rears its head, I can warn these people. Really, this is the least I can do. Once this is over, you or they can decide what to do with me. It's not this simple because we know that there was something about how at the circle of uh, the circle tower somebody the Templars invoked the the thing about like we had we got to destroy all the mages or something. So when we get there, it's going to be a whole long thing which might end up being more than one day. It's one day to travel there. But what about the time it takes to convince the people? I don't... Oh, God! I do not like this talk of possessions and spirits and... 
and magic. It is unnatural. What the hell are you talking about? You made me give you the freaking blessing from the maker and... I'm not gonna argue with you on this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Ah! What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Okay, seriously, what the hell? Where am I? Oh, this is... What the hell? Alright. Okay. Duh. Everybody just calm down. Calm down. Maybe we should get this one. This one's closer. Why do they all suddenly... Hey, Sir Perth in the other room, do you guys want to help us out? Oh, thank you, you did come over. Good enough, I suppose. Oh, damn! Pushed me back! Oh, dude! They're all pushing me! They can all do that. And I can't do too much about it. Get him, get him, get him! There you go, that's one. It is begun. Wellens and her cracked skull not looking too great here. Oh boy. Dude, this place isn't even safe, man. I don't know what's happening. It's not safe. Everything is going to hell here. Get him, get him. Alistair! Maybe... Pummel this guy for now. And then come back to attack this guy. Now we attack this guy. As you Keep healing or whatever, Morgan. Don't hit more again. He's almost dead. Yeah, we didn't really need to palm strike this guy. Liliana, maybe do a crippling shot on the guy in the back or something. Begin the onslaught, as you say. Good lord. These possessed are- they have blood. What, are we just not gonna talk about this? Just some random people were here and- Okay, the, the suits of armor came to life randomly and nobody is gonna say a single thing about it. Sure. On the Orlesian Empire. Hold up. Hold up. Is this gonna go to the second... Oh, jeez. Really? I've had enough fighting. I just wanna go and think about my problems. Alright, guys. Oh! Fantastic idea. Fantastic idea! Oh, I should do this more often. Whoa, who is that? Wait, there was like a... That guy was dressed differently. Who was that? Tis your time to die! Yeah, get out of here. Next! Chamber lane. Hey, we can probably do this on our own. I shall be done. Oh. Dude, we're killing the chamber lane too. Is that really cool? Not really. Too easy. 
Okay. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I just... Oh, Redcliffe Vault Key. Suddenly I'm happy again. Never mind. As you wish. How many did they even want for the samples? They never gave a hard number in that quest. So how am I supposed to know how much is considered extra? Dude, this is their... This is their home. I'm not gonna accidentally stumble upon Connor, am I? Better not. Can Liliana use that? Allow me. I could do that for you. Freaking steal their entire small silver ring, a gift. Scale gloves. Can you? No, that's worse. But that's this is this is leather. The fatigue level is actually it's quite similar. It's not that big of a deal. Okay. Dude, what the hell? Where? Oh. Oh, I didn't look at the desk. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, this is Arl Eamon's office. Alistair's mother's amulet. We should probably give this back to him. Oops. Oh, uh, we'll give that back at camp then. We have much to do. 